housing industry is remaining a seller's market with many getting substantially more than their asking price. One local realtor says buyers are paying as much as $100,000 more than listed. Dayton 24 7 now's Bennett Wise is live tonight with just how raw materials are playing a role in this. Bennett. Well, pricing on materials like lumber and PVC are up almost 35% in the last year and are not expected to come down. And when you add labor and freight costs that are also rising, we've got ourselves a problem. Your new home or renovation could cost more and existing homes are the new hot commodity. A lot of sellers want to sell because they're at the top of the market, uh, but they don't have a place to go. A local realtor says both literal and financial appreciation has grown for existing homes. And in some cases, it's been 15 to 18 percent year over year. So we're seeing buyers waiving inspections, which we would never necessarily recommend, but uh, it is happening because the demand is so great, they're doing anything they can to get a house. Morton says some homes have had as many as 25 offers and buyers ponying up as much as $100,000 over the asking price to outbid the competition. Both, he says, are unheard of. New home construction kind of disappeared. Uh, we actually have a shortage of about 10 million homes in new construction that's happened over the last 10 years. We didn't have built, so uh, it's led to an increased demand. That construction shortage is due to limited raw materials like metals, wood, and fiberglass, which affects lead time, or the amount of time it takes to get and receive product. There's two things that have happened, the shortage of material but also the lead time to get material in has been critical. We used to get windows in from a manufacturer in one to two weeks. That's out to five, six, seven weeks. Lytle says it's a supply chain issue. Many raw materials come from factories along the Gulf of Mexico and have a reduced workforce, are still recovering from Hurricane Laura in May of 2020, the Texas freeze this past February, and the pandemic. And then pricing has gone up probably 35% since uh, January or December. We have a lot of orders booked, more book, more than we did last year at this time. So couple that with the extended lead time, it takes longer to run through the sales cycle now. So to combat these, Lytle says he and his competitors are doing something that's unheard of in this industry, and they're essentially playing let's make a deal and trading different materials to meet the demands of each of the suppliers. He hopes and expects everything to even out price-wise by the end of the year. Reporting in Dayton, Bennett Wise, Dayton 24-7 Now News.